is back. The boy band is going to headline at Planet Hollywood's Access Theater, but they performed, performed a private New Year's Eve party at Caesars Palace this weekend. There they are, photo taken by Denise Trussello there of the whole group together. John Castellamides was actually at the event. And we're going to talk about there. that. But first, will you have a gift for me? I have a gift for, Deni for you, uh, Dana. Dana. Sorry, thanks for Denise <laughs> on the photos. I'm going to say that, too. You called me out on social media when I was in Idaho over the holidays, and I took a picture of an Idaho spud. And uh -huh. this is an Idaho spud candy bar from Lava Hot Springs, Idaho, that okay. has traveled all the way back to you. I am super excited. And you it said made this is the good. Trip. All right, there gonna, you go. We're going to open Later this at the on, end. Once we get to the, this, I love this. I, I told terrible. you, bring me back one. They're terrible. I'm super excited for it. Okay, <laughs> back to the Backstreet, Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Um, okay, so you were at the show, and you took some video that we actually have. It's a little amateur video from the John Kessler Extremely movies. amateur. Yeah. Taken but by me. how were they? It was a lot of fun, man. Uh, they are uh, <laughs> they're still, uh, they still have an amazing uh, fan base. of uh, People went nuts for them. I had a great time. And I get it when I, I'd never seen them before in, a, in quite this type of atmosphere. This is at the uh, Forum Ballroom at Caesars Palace, and it was just a lot of fun. They were energetic. We, um, we rang in the new year there uh, at this spot, and then we went over to Cleopatra's Barge afterwards to really close the night. These guys open on March 1st at Access Theater at Planet Hollywood, and they've sold so well that they, I mean, there's already talk of extending them. They, they're in March and April for about 17 days, and they're uh -huh. back in June for three more. And they're comparing this run to when Celine Dion first opened at, at, uh, Caesar, at uh, the Coliseum awesome. of Caesars. The, the tickets are moving really quickly. And uh, wow. there they go. This is the next big superstar headliner we have on the Strip. I hear a lot of people talking about it. I hear a lot mm -hmm. of people wanting to come in from uh, even other countries, yeah. seeing that, hey, we've got to go see the Backstreet Boys. How did they sound? How are they? I mean, it's always when the boy band comes back, you know, when they're older, it's it's that, do we really care how they sound, or is it just the songs we know, and you it's You know, fun? commendably, they sounded they sounded fine, and it's, it's all the songs we yeah. know. They're all their hits. You know, in a ballroom like that, it's an atypical atmosphere sure. because there's a lot of, you know, it's a high ceiling and echoing, and it wasn't built for this. Mm -hmm. So, But they, they did great. Their choreography was great. Everything that you know about them was in place. So we're going to love it. They're in, they're in condition to do this. Okay. Absolutely. Love that. Okay, mm -hmm. you were also at Lady Gaga at The Win, right? Yes, that on was on December Friday? December 30th, yeah, okay. on the 30th. How was that? The, at the Encore Theater. I've liked Lady Gaga a lot. I think she's one of the most compelling artists of, of our time, mm -hmm. really. She, she's a serious artist. This show was not her best show, having said all that. It was a, it was a, a night where she was doing some jazz standards and performing with, with uh, her own quintet and the uh, Showstopper Orchestra. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just thought it was just, it was sort of a relaxed performance by her. A lot of, there are five costume changes and about, you know, between 12 and 15 songs, depending on how you, how you uh, line it up. Uh -huh. And, you know, it was, uh, when, I, when you see her with Tony Bennett or you, you've seen her in an arena show or you, you saw her in the CBS special a year ago where she closed with New York, New York, which she opened with the other night, mm -hmm. it was just lights out. And this was not quite that show. Right. But, um, you know, it's Lady Gaga and it was, it was fun to watch her. And uh, one day I hope she does an extended uh, engagement here in Las Vegas somewhere. Yeah. You keep hearing uh, chatter about that, but nothing definitive. Okay, and then John Lovitz and Dana Carver, they're kicking off their residency at SLS, which is why you're actually on today, because John yeah. Lovitz is going to be on our she show tomorrow. Me. And that's kind of cool. I think a lot of people are looking forward to seeing these two together, and the fact that the SLS has a residency. Yeah, that, that part is uh, is very important at the mm -hmm. Foundry. This is a, a, their first comedy extended engagement of any kind at the, in that room, and uh, Lovitz is really funny. He's a little bit a late bloomer as far as stand-up goes. He's done a lot of character work on Saturday Night Live, you know, as, a, as Tommy Flanagan, mm -hmm. as, as the master thespian and all that. And Carvey is still a really good impressionist. He, d he can do Trump. When Charlie Sheen became a thing, he did a great Charlie Sheen. Mm -hmm. Them together in this atmosphere is going to be very uh, entertaining. I know that. Other comics really like these guys. That's, that tells me that they're, they're very cool. highly regarded. Mm -hmm. All right. We can read more in Kat's blog in the Review Journal. And Kat's will be back with us next Wednesday to talk more stuff. Kat's. We'll try the Idaho spud in the break. <laughs>